of work for me to eat in the morning. Proud of you. Proud of you. Thanks. Okay. I'm yeah. excited, y'all. We have a power packed power hour because we actually have scripting for you to use. Um, so I really, really want to encourage you that when we give you the time to work on each one of these sections that you um, either write out, like send an actual message to someone. Don't just decide what you're going to send later. Like actually send messages, actually do the things because we have what a day and a half left of this month. Um, I would like for everyone to in the chat, let us know what you plan to accomplish in the next 36 hours. So it's give or take 36 hours. It's kind of like a day and a half. So uh, walking pad, um, adding $100 to your paycheck, um, getting your points to a certain place, um, getting, you know, if you have an additional account, getting that account to a certain place, um, helping a level one go silver, give it their name, um, ranking up, re-ranking, um, any of those things. So. I want to hear about all of it in the chat. I think it helps sometimes when y'all can see our goals, we can see your goals. Um, Beth, why don't you tell everybody what's a goal for you? Yeah, one of my goals is to um, get as many VIPs as possible, honestly, because I, I front loaded this month and then they announced double convention credits. And I'm like, dadgum, I'm really short on convention credits. So I want to get as many possible. So I need to add like level ones as much as I can. And then I have a point, I'm going to sit down and figure out how many orders I am till my, um, the rank that I want on my husband's position. Yeah. I need to sit down and figure out my, um, numbers. Uh, cause I, I was out of town obviously yesterday on the 28th. So I didn't see what final subs, um, figured out. So if you don't know what you're currently sitting at right now, that is your number with all subscriptions run. So every subscription has already run. Everyone who's automatically going to give you points already has. Um, so that's why we all, it's so great to do a power hour today because now you're kind of starting, we're, give you, we're gonna get, we're gonna give you some actual assignments to do. Okay, we're gonna get going. Oh wait, I wanted to see what everybody's. Um, help one go silver, as many VIPs as possible. Capture as many new points as possible. Need seven level one orders, Sally, or... Break that up and see if, if you helped a level one go silver, how many level one orders you would need. Because I bet it's a lot less work on you if you help someone go silver. Uh, Ivy re-ranked gold. They got her three VIPs. So she's getting rank rewards. That hundred bucks is going to be awesome. Plus your build, business building bonuses, plus your paycheck just with those points. That's incredible. Um, I think your goal would be to help one go silver. Um, convention goal seems impossible for all of us. Just keep working hard. I want to encourage you. This is the first year ever that I um I think I'm gonna hit level two <laughs> on the convention contest. I think I'm gonna hit the five hundred dollars. So do not think that that puts value on what I like. That is that your convention contest is no value to your business. It is just an added perk. It is not does not it does not your business does not rise on or fall on leaders retreat or convention contest. Those are perks for doing your job. So my goal is paycheck over over credits. So I would rather have a hundred, you know, dollars and, and be focused really well on my paycheck rather than just getting, you know, another level of a convention contest. So if you're kind of having to pick and choose what you're doing, I mean, what's your focus, what's your goal and stick to that. Um, closing on three VIPs, 50 more points on your outside leg, Tina, I'm so proud of you for just really focusing on outside leg. Uh, Ellen's in the middle of signing two. just need to close them. We're going to talk about closing grow 30 points, break it down, see what that looks like. Christy, I know you have a girl working really hard on your team right now. So I think uh, together, it's always nice when you get to do something together. Um, Aaron need four orders to get back to 200 points, need help Amy re-rank re gold and having her add those three and get that re-rank bonus that um, rank rewards is so big. Um, okay, let's keep going. Yeah, putting value on people think of me. I, if anybody thinks negatively of me at convention because I've earned the $500, I'm just going to go ahead and let you because I did what I did. I worked really hard and a convention contest just did not, uh, did not match my efforts on, uh, on output. So I'm okay with it. If you're okay with where you are, I just want to encourage you, um, to just be okay with the efforts that you did. I'm proud of, of where we've grown. Okay. 
we're going to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we have to post. Um, <clears throat> people need to know that you are doing this, that this is a thing. I will be honest, y'all. I have not posted a lot about save or give 16. Um, I don't know about you, but I have just, I have almost forgotten. Like I've known all month as I've built carts that I need to put give 16 in there, but I have not sold it well to my audience. So I really am going to go heavy today on give 16. I'm going to do it right now. Um, here's a couple of just posts that people have made. Um, Sally Bass, I kind of used hers about um, our supplements expensive. Sorry, I cut off some of her words, but the good thing is you can go to Sally Bass post and read it yourself. Um, but about how expensive it is, where your priorities are with your with finances. Um, oh, Rebecca did this old post about <clears throat> different types of people that are doing Plexus. Um, Marissa Adams, um, y'all can go read any of these and copy paste and then edit for yourself. Um, just, you know, a sweet thing, you know, about what's going on in her life with her pink drink. And then I'm going to, I'm going to move it over one more slide, um, to Jordan Roddenberry's stories. This is from, that's from today. You can go follow her at no shame in my mommy game, uh, wild style family, which is Amber Miller. That's actually an old post that she made. She doesn't have a current story, but I just left that one up there. And then, uh, Jordan Gibson, uh, talking about the 16 off $16 off sale. So that gives y'all some people to go follow, to go copy. Um, let's give it 10 minutes to make a post, grab a graphic, talk about whatever you need to talk about. And if you have questions on all that stuff, there are tons of graphics. Go to media on the table and go find a graphic. They're there, I promise. Okay.
if you've already posted in one place, I want to encourage you to post in another. I've already posted in stories and Facebook feed. So my next thing is to put post in Instagram feed. So you might need to find another place where you need to post um, or um, go ahead and prep for a post that you're going to do later. Like later on, I'm going to do a picture of me doing this. And this is what I'm going to say. Go ahead and write it out um, for that. We got about 45 seconds left. Okie dokie. Aaron, I hope that's the one you were looking for. Is that the, okay. So that and that. Now we are going on to follow up. So if you are struggling with follow up, Beck, if you want to take any of these, just let me know. But um, if you want to do follow up, here are some scripts on follow up. You should have a list of people that you need to catch up with, that you need to check in on. I'm going to read these out loud to you because I think sometimes when you hear them, you go, oh, I like the way that it's written. Um, I would encourage you to voice message them today. And I would also say, um, I hear people say all the time, oh, I'm getting ghosted. Um, I actually think that's bad, bad mindset. I think that's putting the blame, that's shifting the blame on, you know, to, they don't want this. I really, really want to encourage you try a different way. Most people are not on Facebook messenger. Did y'all know that most people that are not working their Plexus business are not hanging out on Facebook messenger all day long. Like all of us are in all these chats. So I want to encourage you to pick up the phone and call them, leave them a voice message if you need to, you know, on their, you know, actual answering machine thing, whatever that's called on your phone. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I just saw that. Uh, uh, text them, um, you know, get into the ways that, that they communicate. If you see them communicate a certain way with you, go communicate with them that way. So I'm going to read a couple of these following up to a biz message. Just wanted, uh, just went and looked at my sponsor message me like seven times over the course of two years before I finally got to a point where I needed Plexus. So just popping back in to remind you how good at this I think you would be and how much fun I think we'd have. That's all hashtag never giving up. Uh, follow up with the, somebody did a black cherry lime blossom balance group, which we just did active April thought of you today because I know losing baby weight. I'm right there with you. Sister was a goal of yours. We have, ha we've, we have this fun two week challenge coming up. Can I show you the details? I think it's going to be exactly what you've been looking on based on our previous combo. And um, there are some challenges I think we're going to come up with here in the next month. So just stay tuned on that. But Active April was a great way to get them involved in that. Maybe a great way for them to kind of like go back and look and see, hey, you ordered Slim. I want to make sure that you saw what Slim can do and go back through. Um, you're welcome to do an active, you know, May or do the active uh, hydrate and slim challenge for yourself, for your own small group of people in May. All of those graphics and all of that content is available to you. Follow up on an objection with, let's say, give 16 sale. Hey friend, just checking because I know your budget was tight. Totally get that. And now I have, you know, a Monday code today. Saving people money is my jam. How have you been feeling? Want to see pricing with the sales? Because you can do that with the $16 off. Uh, follow-up combo stopped. Hey, sorry, we didn't finish this combo yesterday. I know how excited you were to feel better and save $16 is still active, but only until tomorrow. Uh, what questions do you have? I'm open book. I want you to feel super comfortable trying this with me. Two more. Uh, dude, I know you're seeing all the sales in my story, but what are you thinking? Ha, huh? um, you know, instead of saying Black Friday deals, be like the $16 uh, dollar off coupon is still going strong for Plexus stuff. Want to take a look at them or it? And then, hey, I know you're excited and timing hasn't been right, but the coupon codes we have right now are too good to pass up. Let's just, let's do this. Want the link or want me to help you get set up? So those are just all really casual ways to get back in touch with people. Let's do that for 10 minutes. See y'all in a little bit.
Okay, as we finish up <laughs> that portion, I'd love to hear which one did you use? Like which one felt like, oh, I could use this one a couple of different times. So I kind of worked this one. Like if you have a copy and paste of one that you sent, you can drop in the chat, even if you reworded it a little bit. Um, it's probably really good to be like, oh, okay, that's the one most people are using because you kind of all connected with a certain one. So anybody? Would you send in the follow-up, Christy? Did you just voice message? Um, I, yeah, I just followed up with a lot of loose ends and people I've talked to, like, hey, kind of like, sorry, we didn't get to finish. Tomorrow's the last day of the Give 16. Just uh, here to help you if you need to. Like, I have one lady who's a new, new mom, and I'm like, let me know, and I'll do it for you, kind of a thing. Perfect. Yeah. I think making it as easy as possible on them, making it not feel like they're going to sit down and like, I can build you a cart. I can put all of my favorite flavors in there. I can get it all set up and then I'll send you the link with the coupon code already attached. All you have to do is put, put in your information or send me your information and I'll put it all in for you and I'll get you all set up. The only thing is then you want them to manage their subscription. Um, Becky and I probably have different views on that, but I love when people own their own sign up because then they know how they logged in. They know what their password is. It's already saved on their computer, um, all of that. So um, however you do it, just do it. You know what I mean? Like don't get caught up in, oh, should I sign them up? Should I have them sign? Do what's comfortable for you and what gets it done. So don't get all hung up in, well, Andrea only says to do it this way or Becky does it this way. And if that's not comfortable for you, then it freezes you. Do it the way that that feels the most comfortable, but let them know how easy it can be. Okay, next section. Back office reach outs for people who have partial PV. So this is a good thing. You know that you can now go, I wanna tell you all this. You can go into your new back office. So when you log in, it's new back office. And we'll call it that until we get another new back office, but we'll call it new back office for a long time. If you go to gene genealogy report, then you can get, okay, I'm going to do this. Hold on. I'm just going to do it with y'all because this is help. It's helpful if I actually walk through step by step. Okay. Logging in. Hold on. Hold, please. Let's all do this together. Because I want y'all to see this because this matters on the save 16 that we have going on right now. You can actually see when was the last time somebody ordered because if they did not order this month of April or last month in March, then they are eligible for that save 16, which is $16 off their order. So like they ordered in February and haven't ordered again, but I want to show y'all exactly how to do it. Oh, the love of all things. My phone's going as slow as possible. As soon as I'm on the phone with y'all. Okay. Dashboard. Okay. So this is like your screen. I'm on my computer. I'm on my phone. So I'm doing it on the phone, which so many of y'all do. Uh, I do most of mine on my computer, but on the phone, three lines, my business, go all down to about midway through. It says genealogy, click on genealogy and then scroll over to, um, do, 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 keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling to <laughs> past subscriptions, past last order date. And you can actually sort by the last time they ordered. I know, Aaron, isn't it amazing? Here's what I think is easier is if you actually download it personally to Excel and then you can sort easier, I think, on Excel than in back office because then you can remove everyone from April and everyone from March of 2024 and start from there. And I would start with your level ones because there's no reason to go beyond level ones if you're not willing to have the conversation with level ones. So just go level ones who haven't ordered and like have, don't have a last order date in March or April. Does that make sense to everyone? Please ask questions. I want this to make sense. But these people that ordered February and earlier have access to order anything with that save 16. And what you want to do is you don't care if it's a bag of slim or two bottles of ProBio 5, even partial PV orders will still count for some points. Does that help everybody? So we're going to say, hey, Sarah, I want to let you know that the entire Plexus, well, not the entire Plexus, but for them, the entire Plexus site is $16 off. 
So you can pick whatever combination of whatever your favorite things have been over this time. And I can save you $16 um, for our 16th anniversary. It's a great time to stock up on your favorites or try something new. I went ahead and created you a cart, which you can create them a triplex cart, create them a cart. You can see what their last order was. So you can see what they were ordering before lean and meta burn, whatever of the few things I know you use on a regular, all you have to do is click on the link, log in and check out easy peasy. Cause you can send them a cart and they can log in and check out with their own back office. Um, or if you want to try something new, even join us, you know, on any of our May challenges, we're going to do some women's wellness in May. Um, so you can ask them if they want to be a part of women's wellness in May um, challenge to keep the, you know, keep the summer weight down. This is all holiday scripting. As you can tell, I share, I can share with you details on uh, products. Everyone is loving. Do you want to take advantage of this month's lower prices? This month's coupon code. You can all see how that would work. Okay. Back office reach outs for people eligible for being cleared out. And these are people that have not ordered for six months or more. So if you go into that and you see someone from six months prior, have not ordered a single thing in the last six months. So their last order date is, what are we in April? April, March, February, January. They have not ordered since October or or earlier past. Um, hey, Sarah, I know it's been a while since you ordered your Plexus products, but if there's ever a time to reset your health goals, it's right now. Um, because you have not ordered recently, you're eligible to restart with the April deals. You can get $16 off your first order. Um, or if you have a reset code, don't forget, you might have a reset code. Um, if you sign someone level one and plus last month that did not use their reset code. So you want to make sure you're talking reset codes. Um, everyone that signed up last month got one. Actually, they got two when they last couple of days comment below of how I can help you. I'm ready to get started and if get $16 off, I'm ready to get started you know, but I want to actually add a reset. Do you have a code for that? And I'm not ready to restart, but let me know next specialist. So it gives you permission to continue to reach out to them. Back office reach outs for people who haven't ordered this month. You know, option one, what products do you need? And let me build a cart for you to save time. Option two, we have a two week accountability group starting in May, which you can just make up and you can do yourself, which you can just load all the active April information into a group if you want to. Um, not all about pounds in April. It's about uh, feeling good, whatever. Uh, what are you thinking? One, two, combo, both. Want to see pricing and more information? Keep on code. Y'all can adjust this however you need it. It just gives you a good framework. Okay, let's do 10 minutes of this. Okay.
Okay, who got their genealogy? Who who found one person at least on their last or that hasn't had? Okay, that's I was not making complete sentences, but did you found someone who hasn't ordered in the last two months that you could actually send a message to about save sixteen? That took my question. Okay, good. Um, okay, I think this is the last one. Let me double check. Nope, we got two more. Okay, we're gonna do these fast then. Oops. Um, reach outs. Hey, um, I recently saw where you shared about a horrible time with migraines. I'm so sorry you have to deal with that. I don't know what it's like to struggle with migraines myself, but I have a friend who was able to get to the root of the issue and was to get rid of her migraines. Just a few simple changes. Would you be open to me sharing her story with you? And they say, yes, she'll add them to your team customer page, which for us would be gut glam and tag them. Good morning. I just want to say thank you for always showing love to my posts. I know likes may seem small, but they mean the world to me. Has anything I've ever shared about Plexus piqued your interest? I'd love to be a resource for you. And then I think I saw that you changed jobs. I want to hear all about what you're doing now. So fun. I've loved following you and uh, along on the journey to here. Also, we haven't ever talked about Plexus and I haven't seen that you've struggled with anything in particular, hormones, energy, stomach issues, or thyroid, et cetera. But I just got an insane cyber week code. Just had to at least ask if you had any health goals you wanted to share with me, or if you're looking for something to help you feel awesome this summer. If not, that's okay. Uh, totally okay. But if yes, then I'd love to be a resource for you. Um, happy holiday season, sweet friend. As we all know, it gets crazy this time of year. Can't wait to hear back from you. So just lost all of the pictures. That's awesome. Not more than what. Oh, there you are. Oh, I couldn't see your faces and I felt all alone. Let me check this next screen and just see where we are. Additional reshouts. Okay. Do y'all want me to leave it on these business reshouts real or these uh initial reshouts for people real fast? We're gonna do this for five minutes. Okay, we'll do this for five minutes and then we'll do additional reach outs for five more minutes and then we'll be done. Sound good? Okay. See y'all in five minutes.
Okay, so there was five minutes and then we're gonna do this last page. Oh no, it's not the last page. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, uh, additional reach outs. Um, hey, Terry, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Again, these were all winter, but you'll get it. I know you wanted to cancel for budget reasons, so I always wanna update you if we have discounts for current customers right now, save 16 off the whole website. Let me know if you need anything. Um, cause you can say the whole website because anything they want, they all put it in the cart and it's $16 off. Um, yes, you know, whoever tomorrow's the last day to get $16 off. Uh, we talked about plus a free water bottle and, you know, a reset box. If you have a code, this isn't your jam right now, that's still totally okay. But if you're wanting energy and craving control, still want to get the cheapest price. What are you thinking? I want you to feel a thousand percent comfortable trying this with me. I love the way that she words that you're doing it together. Hey, Kennedy, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to pop in and let you know we have $16 off the entire site for the next two days. I know you love a good sale as much as I do. How would you feel about getting started again? And then, hey, I hope you and your family had an amazing Thanksgiving. Your pictures were so sweet. I wanted to check back with you about Plexus. Not sure where your head is at. Either way, no pressure, but we have $16 off the entire site until tomorrow night at midnight. In fact, for our 16th anniversary, we've had so much fun, so many people getting started and it's so fun. Have you considered trying it out again? So there's that. I'm just going to let y'all screenshot that. So if you want those, that verbiage, just take a picture of that. I can put all of these, I think I have before, but I can put all of these um, slides on the table. That's not a, that's not a problem at all. So then y'all will have access to them all. And then um, creating urgency today as you close, um, be willing, not winning, or maybe winning to get on the phone, but willing to get on the phone. Example one, Hey, I'm driving at 1.30 today. Are you free then uh, in an hour and a half? That's a great way. Like give them a time um, or I can call you tonight and help you get your account set up. Example two, yep, happy to help. I can do it for you if you have your username and password still or I can help you uh, steps to grab it. Y'all, like that helps. So I'm, we wanna give y'all just a couple of minutes. Does anyone have a specific question that they feel like they need uh, help with for the next three minutes? how to respond to someone, how to follow up with a specific person, how to start wording something, how to post a thought you have, but you can't figure out how to word it, um, what graphic to grab, how to get someone started who's kind of interested, but you don't know where to send them, kind of different scenarios that you might feel stumped with. Hey, Andrea, I think that uh, one thing that I do, I get in my head about the whole like posting thing. I think stories get so easy where I'm like putting stuff in stories, but then I don't. And, and I know that I only have like 50 to maybe on a good day, a hundred people see it. So if I'm posting in my stories, I do sometimes go like, am I over posting? Should I not post? And, I, and then, and then that's when I shut down. So is there anything about that now? Just do whatever the heck you want. Just, you know, like it doesn't matter if you, cause sometimes I'll post my kids and then I'm like, Oh, well maybe I'll wait till tomorrow to post Flexus and then, you know, just do it. And no, just, I, I know that not posting doesn't work for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the worry of over posting is actually, it's just leading to not posting. True. Andrea, any thoughts? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> you follow me in stories. Do you see any pattern or which way of whatever I do? I mean, some days you're like, okay, Andrea, that's a lot. And some days you're like, where is she? Like, you know, like you're not probably not thinking that, but I have people on a message me and be like, everything okay? You haven't been posting much today. I'm like, I'm just sitting in bed. So I don't have anything to talk about. Um, yeah. So I just think like, find things like if the last 48 hours of the month y'all are so key not just for April but for May mm -hmm. everything that you all the conversations that you will start generating I'll say this I am selling more plexus when I am talking about plexus every day mm -hmm. when I am obnoxiously consistent with my posting someone messages me and says hey okay I've been thinking about that or I'm in chats with somebody about something totally random, like volleyball and basketball. And this girl goes, 
Okay. So I also want to ask you about the plexus stuff, that, like, because I'm in a conversation with her about non-plexus stuff, but I'm constantly mm -hmm. talking about plexus the whole time in my stories, the whole time we're in a Instagram chat. I've never met this chick. Then she can ask me about plexus and it's not weird because I'm posting about it boldly. She likes it. I'm like, girl, while we're talking about volleyball, basketball, you're liking my post. You, you know, are you interested? She's like, oh, I've been meaning to ask you about plexus. So you cannot sell plexus if you are not talking about it. The only way people will talk to you about plexus is if you are boldly posting about it every single day in different ways. Some of it is me mixing up my drink and people message me going, Hey, what all do you put in that? What all is that stuff? No matter how many times I've explained it. Um, you know how many people have asked me over the years, like, how do you do Ella's shake? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I've posted about this 4,000 times, but yes, let's, let's do it again. And then usually I will do a story about it the next day too. Like I'll have a conversation with them, but I'll also do a story about it. Like mm -hmm. you cannot overthink it. People want to see your kids. People may only want to see your kids and they get a glimpse of Plexus. And they're like, great, going back to the kids. Like going to the mail, the post office, groceries are expensive today um going on a walk it's finally pretty outside and we're not under a tornado warning for the first time in like what feels like two weeks um post about life and drop plexus in there all the time picture the you know top of your picture with your active in there about to go on a walk for the first time where i'm not going to get rained on like it doesn't have to be rocket science it is y'all the things that you're buying online are because people are constantly tapping it into your head that you need something you don't need and I know because I bought it, whatever it was. And they're constantly tapping you like, you need this, you know, you need these little overalls, you need these little overalls. And all of a sudden I'm like, everybody's wearing them. And then I have to buy them. That is how you work Plexus and on social. You have to keep, like, it's it's constant exposure. And they're like, great, now I'm going to be missing out. Everyone else is going to have summer bods and I'm not because I'm not taking Plexus. And Aaron keeps talking about summer bods and Plexus and dang you know, I keep griping about it, but I'm not, I'm not taking her up on her offer. And there she is posting about it again. There she is posting another picture. And there she is talking about that reset. Okay, girl, I'm in, I'm in. Tell me what to do. That's what we all do. That's how marketing works. So if you've posted once in the last 48 hours and that's it, and you're just waiting for someone to jump on that, it's just not going to happen. We own the brick and mortar store. People can walk by, but we have geofencing going to their phone for the laundromat. We have signs going out. We have flyer. Like you want to be in people's heads at all times, no matter what, because it's the only way to, to stand out. Churches do it. I mean, everybody does. I mean, our church, you can't drive down a highway in Dallas without seeing our pastor all the time, no matter what. Our boys point them out. Because it's like, oh yeah, that's right. That that's a series that's coming up. That's what's happening. That's that's marketing, y'all. You have to stay present in their mind. You should never have a story run out and not have a plexus story in there somewhere. Does that make sense? Like your 24 hours should never run out and you don't have something. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll do a big story about the business. And before that story runs out, I'll do a big, you know, two or three slides about the 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 products. And before that runs out, I go in and I do a story where I'm mixing up my drink. And before that runs out, you know, cause they run out every 24 hours. And then I, I'm just, I'm just giving y'all my, my mentality on all of this. And I know it's already 103, but like I did Will playing basketball this weekend. I did Jonathan and the sweetness of getting to take him on the trip with us. But y'all today, it's all about the $16 off coupon. People are commenting on the Will and the Jonathan posts, but they're seeing the $16 off posts. So then I immediately go back to Ella because nobody really wants to see anything on my entire social media except Ella. So got to loop her in there too. You know what I mean? Like it's all the things all the time. And it's not like, oh, well, I posted this and now I need to, you know, wait four hours and then post this. It's like Ellen Ford messaged me because I was annoying, not because I mess posted one time about Plexus in December of 2013. She was like, girl. And I was like, I know. And she's like, but does it do all the things I've been reading about for the last month? I'm like, it does. And she's like, then I'm in. So how many things have you posted about this month? How many different ways do they think Plexus is going to help them? Have they seen a testimonial that, that identifies with them? Have they seen a business story that, that targets their pain point? 
that's that's why we get paid because we're literally the advertisers for Plexus products. We are the commercial, we are the billboard, we are the you know sponsored ad, we are all of that stuff. We are X Factor and all the things it does. We are Mega X. We are, you know what I mean? Like that's what we get paid is because we constantly share and then we show people how to pay for their products and then make money on top of that and then make even more residual money. It's just a growth. Okay. I, I hope to see y'all just blow up social with Plexus for the next 24 hours, 48 hours. See, see what you can generate just by getting really bold with what we do and what we have and how you can help people. Okay. Let's see if I missed anything. I got some chats. Better job at following up people who like your posts. Yeah. Do that. Like challenge yourself to sit down for 30 minutes this you know afternoon, 30 minutes tonight, 30 minutes tomorrow morning, 30 minutes tomorrow afternoon, and just talk to people that like your post and just get in conversations with them. That's a great, great, great plan. They're actually, they're already looking at your stuff. Okay. 105. We'll see y'all later.